Have you got a new JL and you're wanting to add bigger tires to it? Well, you're gonna need a new tire carrier. In this video, I'm gonna show you one of my favorites. Action. Hey everybody, it's Bo with Exus 4x4 and we build badass Jeeps. Well, here we got a JL. Very, very common thing is when these guys, you guys with JLs, lift these vehicles, you wanna put larger tires on them. Pretty much anything over stock isn't gonna fit back here because the clearance between the tire and the bumper it's just too close. So typically we're always putting 35s and 37s on it. Immediately customers have to put a rear tire carrier on. One that we like to recommend that's pretty strong and it's rated all the way up to 40 inch tires is the Motobilt tire carrier that we have down here on the floor right now. Relatively straightforward install, instructions are great and it looks great, super strong. One of the features that I like about it the most is the actual camera relocation Bing, that they use. Some of the other tire carriers out there that are very similar to this, pretty strong, absolutely, without a doubt, just as strong as this one, but I don't like the camera mounting on them or the camera relocation. Motobilt has a much better solution and it's rated all the way up to 40 inch tires, which most people usually end up there anyways. This customer chose to powder coat it red. One thing I forgot to mention was they do come raw. So no matter what you do, you're gonna have to get it powder coated some color. Customer wanted it to match the Jeep. In this case, he went with red and we got a really, really close match on the paint. So far, Tony has been working on this one this morning and he's about 20 minutes into it. Customer had some other aftermarket tire carrier on there, but he's removed most of that and now he's prepped, ready to start taking apart the tailgate and hinge assembly on the back of this vehicle so that we start installing the, the tire carrier. When I talk about this tire carrier with customers and they're wondering about the strength of it, the thing that I like to mention is it's strong enough that when it's mounted, the tailgate actually mounts to the tire carrier. It's not the other way around. And so most of your weight isn't being carried on the aluminum tailgates, but it's actually in here on this pillar mount inside the body. All the load is being carried right there. So like I said, very strong, awesome, rigid tire carrier. Another awesome thing about Motobilt is that they're one of the, the many companies that we work with that are made in the good old USA, right over in Alabama. Alabama. So all of the parts that you see here, included in the tire carrier, came straight from them. They do all their own in-house fabrication and welding. There's no in-between guys here. So it goes straight from them to me or to you. And it's high quality stuff. It's not thin metal. It's, it's super strong. That's what's great about American made products. We can always tell the difference because of how thick the material is. This tire carrier starts around 650. If you want the license plate and camera relocation stuff, it's going to cost you an extra couple hundred bucks. So you come in somewhere around 850 powder coating depending on what colors you choose to go with gloss black's always cheap you're looking at a couple hundred bucks there probably up to maybe four or five hundred dollars for custom stuff just depends on how crazy you want to get on your powder coating we usually allow about three to four hours for the installation of this tailgate for those of you at home well you don't do this as often as we do so we're going to time tony see how long it takes him because he's never installed one before and that'll give you a pretty good idea how long it takes so i'm going to start the clock As you can see, it took exactly four hours for the install. The counter shows five, but we forgot to turn it off during lunch. Anyways, as you can see, when it's color matched, this thing almost blends into where you can't see it. But when you do, you can really tell how awesome it looks, how robust and rigid it feels. And opening and closing the tailgate is so easy with this thing on it. You can also see, this is important. The light that you get with this also has a third brake light incorporated into the license plate light. That's pretty important in places like Texas because 
it's required. It's a nice addition to it. The camera is located right down here. It looks awesome when you're backing up. Be sure to hit us up on our website if you're interested in one of these. And for more off-roading videos and other cool Jeep stuff, click here.